Okay guys, I decided to go ahead and while I had my hair um, like this to go ahead and do the straighten it out and do a video of me straightening it. So also what I'm going to incorporate is I'm going to do, show you the difference between using an in styler and my Chi flat iron. So you can see the results with both. Um, kind of determine for yourself if that's what you know which ones might work for you or which ones you like better um, for me it really doesn't matter let's see I, I'm going to what I'll do I normally start from the back but for the sake of you being able to see I'll just do the side first instead so I'm going to clip away all of this. You guys saw how I, um, in the last video, how I have already applied uh, my cheese silk infusion and my Moroccan oil in order to protect my hair. And so I'm just going to start flat ironing. So this side I'll use the flat iron because I'm waiting for my install to heat up anyway. And then this side we'll use the install. So I'm going to use the flat iron. And I just part it off in sections. And then I can clip the rest out the way. Comb through and hold it tight. And then I'm going to take my cheat iron. And then just slowly pass through. See, that is the straightness with the um, chi iron. Really straight, one pass. Don't go over it more than once unless you absolutely have to. I don't suggest doing so though if, if you don't have to. Okay. So I get the root. And then I always take the comb. And if I did, because like this side, I didn't get Because that was a wider piece. That's why I went over those two ends.
This is the side with the flat iron. I didn't go over my edges or anything. I normally don't bother those, but they pretty much are straight. It's bouncy, it's light, it moves. So that's this side. Now, I'm gonna turn around. This is gonna be a little more difficult because I'm trying to make sure I stay in the camera. But we're gonna do the side with the instyler. So, going to take a section. Take the instyler. So when you close it, it turns just like a round brush. Um, so what I'm gonna and then it has the um, the brush part up top, so it smooths it out and polishes your hair as it straightens or curls or whatever it is that you're doing. So in order to get the roots, because I know some people say that they can't get their roots straight with Put your finger in the way so that it doesn't close and take it and just rub against the roots just like that. That way it's straight all the way from the top to the bottom. Then you place it on the top close to your scalp but not touching. Close. And see, it's not as smooth as the other side. It's a totally different look. And I just, I do like the inside because it polishes and shines as it's going down and it's not as much heat on your hair. But I guess it just depends on the person. So, smooth that out. And you gotta hold it tight because if you which is difficult if you let it go at the ends it'll mess your ends up and crinkle them up so. And keep all of this back. So these are the results. Both sides are soft. Both sides are smooth. This side is a little more silky. This side is straight, but it's it's not as straight as this side. Both sides have movement and body. This one has more volume because of the way that the brush is made and everything. It poofs it up more where this side it lays more flat. So it's just a matter of preference. Both of them work fine. I use both of them. Um, you can curl with the Instyler, which I can show you that. You can have tighter curls. too much since I had just and I don't really want curls but you can have do a bump with the instyler just like I did with the top with the flat iron and it is smooth it is shiny 
as is this. So, that is how I flat iron my hair. Um, I'm going to go through and finish and come back with some pictures. But that's one of these methods is normally what I do. Um, one or the other. So, hope you guys like. I won't be doing this anymore anytime soon. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.